After graduating, Elizabeth marries her childhood friend Roy Parachovich, and they start a family. They want their children to be proud of their Shinget heritage. Soon Roy joins the Alaska Native Brotherhood, a group begun by Elizabeth's father, Andrew Wanamaker, and other Alaska Natives to fight racism. Elizabeth joins the Alaska Native Sisterhood. They work together to protect their children, fight for, and, and advance the rights of their people. At a meeting, Native peoples tell of the racism that they've experienced. My son listened to the army but wasn't able to vote because he was uncivilized. We live in a real house with electricity and running water, and yes, we use toilet paper. <laughs> I wasn't even allowed in a beauty shop just because I'm married to a clinking person. They told me, we don't cater to Indians. I can't even get a cup of coffee because I'm thinking. Can you believe it? The white people's laws don't protect our people. But can the laws be changed? <laughs> Elizabeth and Roy take their family and move to Juneau, the capital of the territory of Alaska, where the laws are made. Maybe there, they can make a difference for the people. But when they got to Juneau, they are not welcome. And that's our preview. If you want to see the rest a little <laughs> bit more, come tonight at 6.30 in the, right, in the elementary gym.